Braxton. Braxton. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have my head in these emails. Do you have my speech ready? Yeah, I have it right here. Good. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. I've just been over working lately. Well, look. We won the election, so the hard part's over with. Yes. I'll be the first African-American female mayor of Jackson Heights. Yes. And the youngest. Thanks to you and the rest of the team. You know, it's what we do. We get things done. Um, did you get your notes from Keith for your meeting with the city council? Yes, and I also have dinner with my husband tonight. Shoot, I forgot to request the car and book the reservation. Carmen, I, I already this. have a reservation for you at Seldom Blues. I have a car waiting for you out front. And I have an intern picking up your dress for the gala later. Oh my gosh, what would I do without you? We're not gonna think about that. Well look, you've been working really hard and I appreciate it. Why don't you take the night off? Go have a drink, go on a date or something. Let's see what this great city has to offer. I definitely will. Good. Can I get you anything? No, I'm good. Thank you. You look so familiar to me. Really? Yeah, like I've seen you somewhere before. Maybe I just have a comment. Look. I'm Devontae Braxton, by the way. Nova. You got a last name, Nova? Nope, just Nova. I'm a Nova. Oh, okay. Like Prince? Or Beyonce. <laughs> I guess a female comparison is more fitting. Oh, oh so that's funny. <laughs> just a little bit. You have to excuse me. I'm slightly inebriated. Looks like you had way too many, huh? Quite frankly, yes. Let's call for alcohol, y'all. See, that's my cue. I'll take my check when you're ready. All right, you got it. I better be headed up to my room. I appreciate that. Would you like to accompany me? Sure, would there be alcohol? I'll have room service bring copious amounts. Well, in that case, leave the way. Do you say okay? Yeah, sure. This place must have cost you a fortune. It actually didn't cost me a thing. I'm here on business, so my job paid for it. What kind of work do you do? I'm a campaign manager for the mayor. Mayor Grant? That's, that's the one. And what does that job entail? Media outreach, fundraising, speech writing, advising. Like you're like her own personal fixer, like Olivia Pope. Yeah, something like that. That sounds gratifying. I mean, it can be at times. I mean, I like the job. It's really good money. It's giving me the means to build a house, buy a car, and more clothes than I can wear in a lifetime. Nice. But success sometimes comes with a price. I mean, it's a lot of long hours, so I don't get much leisure time. I love to just lay up sometime and not have a care in the world, even if it's just for a day. I mean, as long as you love what you're doing, then you're doing good. And it makes all those long days and nights worth it. Yeah. It definitely have more ups and downs. I mean, my job is the best thing that ever happened to me since I don't have a love life or any kids. Well, I think you're doing good by becoming a sapist first. I mean, when you do settle down, you have nothing to worry about. And I'm pretty sure you have all those women lined up to make for a change. <laughs> it's nice that you think so. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I mean, you seem good on paper. Shit. I'm a flesh, too. I agree. Um, wait. It's gonna be 400 for tonight. Excuse me? $400? I take cash cards and I have my square in my bag. <laughs> Wait, you fucking with me, right? No, I'm serious. I'm escort. Like a hooker? Um, no. Two different things. A hooker stands on a porn and recruit guys and get blowjobs in the back of a camera in a dark alley. My clients are wealthy. 
You should buy appointments on Independent House Suite. That sounds like a souped up definition of a hooker to me. Call it what you want. But I'll make all your wildest fantasies come to life. While making you come multiple times. So, how is this supposed to work? I mean, I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Have sex? No. Pay for it. Oh, because I was about to say, I'm not into breaking the inversions. It's simple. You pay me when we're done. last night. Likewise, I didn't time too. Um, here's my car. Just in case you need services before you leave town. I definitely will. Mm, how you doing? Fine. I can see you all that. I'm Keith. Nova. Nova. Nova King, <laughs> baby. Yo, player. That's you? She finer than a motherfucker. Who you tell her? Uh, where you meet her? Uh, your ass been on them dating sites, huh? <laughs> Hell no, I haven't been on them dating sites. I met her at the bar last night. Aw, oh, man. See, I know I should have went out with you last night, but I had too much work to do. Shake it. Yo, what see up? if she got a friend for me, though. Aw, uh, Keith, I can't do that. You on your own little ugly dude. Ah, uh, man, see how you do me, bro? I'm supposed to be your boy. You don't even be looking out for me. Look, I gotta tell you something. But you gotta keep it to yourself. Like, on the down low. What? Hey, don't tell me that's no man, dog. Hell no, nah. ain't no damn man. She an escort. I'm talking top dollar. Say what? Yes. She mean to tell me you paying cash to smash? Yeah. You renting that cat? For lack of better words. Nah. Them definitely the right words. Funny they pertain to you though. I mean, you usually had chicks buying you stuff to keep you around. True. But this was different though. I mean, I felt like we connected. And I'm not just talking about physical. I mean, I was able to open up to her and vent. And I haven't been able to do that and I don't know how long. Vent? Yo. You know they got therapists for that shit, right? What's no therapist? I mean, since you coming out the pocket anyway. Whatever, man. Look, I was actually thinking about taking her to the mayor's ball. Nah, you can't do that. Why not? You can't turn no hoe into a housewife. Besides that, there's gonna be a lot of rich motherfuckers in there that's probably already paid top dollar for. I'm trying to get away from their fat ass wives at home. <laughs> you ignorant, bro. Hey, I'm just saying, leave it to me to keep it real. You acting like I'm asking for a hand in marriage. I just need an escort to the ball. No pun intended. Yeah, right. You crushing on that man, Nina Tay. Whatever, man. So you really don't care that she's an escort? And probably with a different brother every other night? I don't know. I don't know.
but you do know that's her job, right? To sell you this sick little fantasy and have you fall for. I mean, shh, that's just what they do. Matter of fact, look at your girl right there. Hmm. Looking like she already booked for the night. Hey there, I'm Brittany. Can I get you guys started with something to drink? Yes, I'll actually take two glasses of champagne. Coming right up. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Yo, you good? Yeah. I just, I just hit my toe. Oh, you want me to look at it for you? No, no. And I'm not about to pull my foot out this table. Mm Devontae Braxton. Nova, no last name. <laughs> so, how much do a client have to pay to get an actual date? I mean, I have a plus one for the marriage ball, and I would love to have you on my arms. I don't go on dates with my clients. Hmm. I'm sorry. I guess I'm tripping. What? I thought homie out there was a client. Is that the homie or something? No, that's the boyfriend. Boy, boyfriend. So, what y'all in an open relationship or something? I mean, is he cool with what you do? He doesn't know. Reggie, he's a pilot, so he's almost always gone, and he's in the air more than he's at home. So, I guess I just do this to fill a void when he's not around. I mean, I was on a verge of leaving this lifestyle behind until I met you. And you see how that worked out. So, he actually has no idea what you do. None. Are you going to go out there and tell him? You know what? As a matter of fact, I am. You can't just play with people's feelings just because you get lonely. <sighs> Devontae. Hey, yo, Reggie. You know your girl fucks other niggas while you out on business, right? <laughs> Yeah, she sell niggas pipe dreams, make them fall for them, and then fuck their brains out. All to make some quick money. Say, please stop. Yo, what? yo, gentlemen, y'all gonna have to come. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? Take, 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 chill. No, I'm trying to let bro know. She out here looking foul, man. Y'all gotta come. Why they come on, man? What? I said, are you gonna go out there and tell them? No, that's not my place. Look. I have George probably way more than I should have. I mean, the sex is great. The conversation was too, but I'm not available outside of the bedroom, you know? That's when the boundaries come in. I can't latch my personal feelings onto my clients. I'm sorry. I understand. I guess I got a little bit of feeling myself. I mean, I'm still available tomorrow if you want. Okay, cool. Are you good? Yeah. 